get ready for a quick quest guide for the Temple of Ikov quest, in which the main rewards for completing are 10,500 ranged and 8,000 fletching experience, potentially the weight reducing boots of lightness and one quest point. While there are no quests required to complete this, you will need to have level 42 thieving and level 40 ranged. And while technically not a requirement, I would highly recommend having level 43 prayer before taking on this quest. When it comes to items, you'll need a U or magic bow, 20 unnoted limp work roots, and additionally weight reducing items, for example graceful outfit pieces, penance gloves from barbarian assault, or some boots of lightness which can be obtained during the quest. You'll need these items in order to put your weight at or ideally comfortably below minus 1 kilos. If you don't have enough weight reducing items for this, then keep your weight at or below 2 kilograms at the quest start and we'll obtain some boots of lightness during the quest to bring you to minus 2 kilos. Note that if you're obtaining the boots of lightness during the quest, then you'll additionally need a light source and a knife. I'd recommend a lit candle for the light source as it weighs next to nothing. I would also highly recommend bringing along one stamina potion and two prayer potions for this quest. Then in terms of teleports, I'd suggest a charged combat bracelet for a teleport to the ranging guild and a charged glory for a teleport to Edgeville. Also ensure that you have one empty inventory space at the quest start. Now you can begin this quest at the pub in the northwestern area of East Ardoon. Before you begin, firstly check that your your light source is lit and then equip your bow so that you have an empty inventory space in your inventory. Then chat to Lucian and go through the dialogue before asking, why can't you get it yourself? And after some more dialogue select yes to officially begin the quest and agree to fetch Lucian the staff of Armadil, after which Lucian will hand you his pendant. Wear the pendant that Lucian just gave you and then use your combat bracelet to teleport to the ranging guild. From here run a little bit southeast to the dungeon sign and then and enter into it. Now if you're heavier than minus 1 kilos in weight or you just want the boots of lightness then you'll want to run west until you see some stairs leading down. Double check to make sure that your candle is lit and then go down the stairs. Then run to the northeastern corner of the room and slash the web with your knife before going through the cut web, taking the boots of lightness on the ground and then wearing them. You should now be at about minus 2 kilos in weight. And for this next step, make sure that your weight is no heavier than minus one kilo. Go west and climb back up the stairs and then run to the gate northeast. Drop your knife and candle and make sure that your pendant of Lucian is equipped. Then go through the gate before running northwest across the bridge to arrive at a large room. Note that if you're too heavy, then you'll fall off the bridge and take around 20 damage. Once across, locate and pick up the lever on the ground to the south of the room. And after you have the lever, then retrace your steps back across the bridge and then southeast back through the gate. From here, run a little bit east and then on the southern wall, you'll find a lever bracket. Use your lever on the lever bracket to fix it and then give the lever a pull. A quick side note is that if you don't have protection prayers available, then now is a good time to bank and grab some defensive ranged armor and a couple of pieces of food. You also won't have to worry about your weight anymore. Back on track. Now run a little west and then go south through the gate before following the path east and then north. Pop on protect from melee if needed to help you deal with the level 61 ice spiders. Then follow the tunnel and as it loops east you'll notice some chests located at the end of small indents within the tunnel. Go to these chests and open and search them. Oftentimes you'll find nothing, but occasionally you'll find some ice arrows. As painful as this part is, you essentially have to keep running back and forth through the tunnel searching the chests over and over until you have around 25 to 30 arrows. Note though that if your range level is around 60 then you can probably get away with having around 15 to 20. Keep praying protect from melee as needed to deal with the spiders and remember to use your stamina potions so that you can keep on running. Once you have enough arrows, retrace your steps out of the icy tunnel with the spiders and return to the main area where you entered. Then go through the northern gate into the room with the bridge, but just keep running north through the room until you wind up in a small room with a lever above a trap door. Right click on the lever and select search for traps to disable the trap and then pull the lever. Now follow the tunnels around to your west where you'll find a door and then go inside of it. And now it's time for a mini boss fight. Go to the northern part of the room and equip your ice arrows and activate your protect from magic prayer as well as a ranged boosting prayer. And then try to open the door to your north. 
This will prompt Fire Warrior Lasarcus to spawn and start attacking you with a fire spell. He can only be damaged with ice arrows, and so you'll want to use them and your bow to defeat him, picking up your ice arrows on the ground now and then to extend how many shots you get out of each one. After the Fire Warrior is defeated, you'll be able to go through the door to your north, and then just around the bend will be Winelda. Talk to Witch Winelda and go through the dialogue with her, whereby you'll hand her 20 unnoted limpwort roots and she will teleport you across the lava stream. Pop on protect from melee and then follow the tunnel north and then west and then push the wall when you come across it to go into a room filled with guardians of Armadil. Now it's time to pick a side and here we'll be siding with Lucian. Ensure that you have a couple of arrows in your quiver and then run into the northwestern room and try to take the staff of Armadil from the table. The nearby guardian of Armadil will attack you but simply defeat the Guardian by either using your bow and arrows or by punching if you like, and then take the staff. Make sure that you take the staff. Following this, you'll want to exit out of the room south and then pray protect from melee before running west and then south past some lesser demons. And then at the end of the tunnel will be a shiny key on the ground that you will want to take. Next, use your Amulet of Glory to teleport to Edgeville, and after arriving, run northeast across the bridge and then south to Lucian's house. Go inside and talk to Lucian, and then say, yes, here it is, to hand over the Staff of Armadil. Then following a bit of dialogue, bam, quest complete. You'll be awarded 10,500 ranged and 8,000 fletching experience, potentially the weight reducing boots of lightness, and one quest point. While it wasn't technically required for the quest, you'll also now have the shiny key which can be attached to the key ring from one small favour. And this unlocks the door to the house in MacGruber's Woods, which contains a ladder going down, landing you right near the area with the Armadil Guardians. Thanks so much for watching, catch you in the next quest!